All right. Uh, 455 is the time right now. Live look outside Gaithersburg, Maryland. People starting to get up and, and start moving. Not going to be the best of days in regards to the weather. It's still Friday, so yeah. that's a good thing right there. And it's still early, but mm -hmm. you're just, just going to have some challenges in the weather area when you get up and start moving around. Yeah, you know, here's the thing, Wisdom. The good news with all this is it's going to be warm today, and the wind and the rain really not picking up until the second half of the day. So, you know, not a bad start to our Friday. And like you said, it is Friday, whether it is your work Friday or not. It's still Friday, which makes it a great day. Low 40s to start for Reagan, 41 for Dulles, upper 30s towards BWI. Temperatures are going to warm quickly today. We have some warm air coming in from the south. It is a little cool to start because yesterday temperatures were only in the mid-50s, which is well below seasonal average. We're in the low 30s towards Martinsburg and Winchester, upper 30s for Gaithersburg and Westminster, 47 towards Quantico, 39 degrees for Leonardtown. As we look at our wind speeds this morning, around 5 to maybe 15 miles per hour, not too bad. But by the second half of the day, it's really going to ramp up. And into Saturday, we actually have some high wind watches in effect for the western part of our area. So definitely some gusty conditions ahead. Out the door forecast for today, mid 40s to start for your morning. We'll see upper 60s, some more scattered showers, especially this evening with more wind and rain overnight and into tomorrow. So looking at your future cast and your seven day forecast, we'll see some gusty conditions a lot warmer by Saturday. Cooler and breezy, though, for Sunday. A cold front's pushing through. Drier air behind it, though. Low 70s Monday and Tuesday. Those temperatures rebound with a few showers middle of next week. Traffic to start your morning here out on the roads. Looking at our traffic conditions to start your morning here, 66 eastbound in Fairfax, construction between Monument Drive and US 52 right lanes are currently closed. Delays from 28, about eight minutes. Looking at the inner loop, drive time between 95 and the Dole Toll Road, that's about 10 minutes this morning. And then looking at 95 northbound, the main lanes are great between Quantico and the Beltway, only 14 minutes to start your morning. And everything else is looking good. Back to you. All right, 4.57 is the time right now. Elon Musk is now the most followed person on Twitter. The CEO and owner of the social media platform has around 133.05 million followers. He's dethroning former President Barack Obama, who previously held that spot. The billionaire's rise in popularity is in no doubt thanks to his $44 billion acquisition of the platform and frequent posts. Taylor Swift has her fans to thank for the growth in her fortune. The singer is worth... $570 million as of December 2022. This is according to Forbes. This is due to her record-breaking album sales and the comeback of vinyl records. Swift is the only artist to have five albums sell more than one million copies in its first week. She's going to rake in more, more dollars for her Eras tour, which forecasted to become the highest-grossing tour of all time. An all-star tribute is taking place during the CMT Music Awards this weekend. Billy Gibbons, Winona Judd, and Leanne Rimes are among the music royalty coming together to honor legendary Southern rock band Leonard Skinner. The celebration comes weeks after the death of the band's final original founding member, guitarist Gary Rosington, who passed away on March 5th. The fan-voted ceremony airs on Sunday. And then the legendary Dionne Warwick is in the DMV for a special honor. It's a very special honor. Bowie State University is naming its theater after Dionne Warwick. The Grammy Award winner was excited to pass the torch and inspire young musicians about the world of entertainment. Basically, the thing I want them all to remember that uh, they've really got a homely craft in order to enter the world of entertainment. And that covers every sphere of what entertainment is about. And I think, uh, I think they're, they're ready for the task. The school says that Dionne Warwick, the Dionne Warwick Theater to be exact, will host concerts, plays, and other performances. So congratulations to the living legend and the icon. We have a lot more news, weather, and traffic coming up. Fox 5 Morning at 5 a.m. starts right now. Ahead at 5 a.m. for the first time in history, a former president is indicted. Donald Trump faces charges that he made a hush money payment during the 2016 election. What's next in the case, plus how the district is preparing for possible protests. A debate over President Biden's proposed budget is heating up. Republicans are opposed to it, but have yet to draw up a budget on their own. What has them so unconvinced 
and what Americans are thinking about inflation. And the White House speaks out about the detainment of an American journalist in Russia. Why they say the arrest was uncalled for. Hey, the party's right here. Good Friday morning to you. Thank you very much for starting your day with us. Hey, good morning good to you. Good to see you. Let's do Welcome. this. Yeah, we're Welcome. matchy matchy today as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's so many different directions I can go with that. But I'll just say, that's cool, Marissa. Yeah, it's Friday. It's there Friday. You there you go. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see if Claire is matching. Is Claire matching? No. Hey, Wizard, we're not matchy matchy today. <laughs>